एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मेजर्स ऑफ मनी सप्लाई सो व्हाट इज मनी सप्लाई द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ मनी इन अ एग्जिस्टेंस इन अ कंट्री इज नोन एज मनी सप्लाई द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ मनी इन अ एग्जिस्टेंस इन अ कंट्री इज नोन एज मनी सप्लाई फॉर एग्जांपल कैश कॉइंस बैलेंस इन बैंक अकाउंट एसेट्रा इन 1977 रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इंट्रोड्यूस फोर मेजर्स ऑफ मनी supply m1 m2 m3 and m4 one by one we we'll discuss about each firstly we we'll talk about m1 m1 is most liquid portion of money m1 is most liquid portion of money liquid portion of money means it contains currency and assets that we can quickly convert into cash m1 is equal to currency and coins with public plus demand deposit with commercial bank plus other deposit with rbi uh, currency and coins with public means physical form of money as paper notes or coins that public hold as a cash second demand deposit of commercial bank means is a bank deposit that we can withdraw without any advance notice uh, demand deposit of commercial bank is a bank deposit that we can withdraw without any advance notice it is equal to cash because we can quickly convert this into cash then lastly other deposit with rbi means uh, sometime public finance institution a uh, foreign central bank uh, or international finance institute deposit their money in rbi it's called other deposit with rbi now we talk about m2 m2 is broader concept of money supply as compared to m1 m2 is equal to m1 plus saving deposit with post office saving bank as we all know post office saving account is a deposit scheme that is provided by post office means m2 include all components of m1 plus saving deposit with post office saving bank now we talk about m3 m3 is equal to m1 plus net time deposit with banks time deposit is the amount of money that we deposit in bank for fixed time period and we can withdraw this amount only after a maturity of fixed time okay so we can say that m3 include all components of m1 plus net time deposit with banks now we talk about last measures of money supply that is m4 m4 is equal to m3 plus total deposit with post office saving bank don't be confused with m2 here we are taking total deposit not only saving deposit okay and total deposit is post office saving bank basically include fd and rd but exclude nsc nsc is national saving certificate national saving certificate is fixed income investment scheme this is all about uh, uh, measures of money supply i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care